behind a screen What is it gonna take for you? Is that still here? Hello, so I have been painting a lot lately. I think I've started to really get back into painting beginning of this year. I don't know if you remember, but I did uh, for a while a daily insect um, challenge, art challenge, painting challenge. And it's still actually on my wall, most of the paintings I made, uh, which were more reference pictures and just learning how to deal with insects. And I don't know, um, I just really gotten into painting this year more regularly and more intensely and I, I really love it. <laughs> taking the time to actually work more properly on my painting skills and so this is also why I decided to vaguely follow October, Inktober, sorry, Inktober this year. Um, of course the idea was to draw ink paintings, no, ink drawings and then paint with watercolors on top because I'm really into watercolors for some reason. And yeah, it was fun. Uh, I'd gotten into watercolors last year only, <laughs> to be fair. Um, I, I always tend to, or uh, for years I've tried to get into watercolors. I had some watercolors from Van Gogh, Van Gogh, I don't know how you pronounce it in English, Van Gogh, um, watercolor paints, which is not too bad, to be honest. It's not the greatest paint, but it's not too bad. I bought it when I was still a student. Um, no, I think I was still, I was still going to school. I mean, before any, um, before high education, whatever. Um, I was sixteen or so when I bought it, so it's it's been around for a while, <laughs> and I've never really gotten into it. I'm not sure why. I think. I always had this idea of watercolor that it was something very loose and, you know, very unprecise um, or um, kind of a snobby way of it and I saw it more as a like, yeah, it's just you sketch out your ideas first before you do actual painting and so I think I was a bit arrogant about watercolor for some reason and yeah, I ne never really gotten into it and then the other thing is, I never really was, um, I never painted enough to be really good at it. So, yeah, um, this is going to sound terrible, but usually when I'm not really good at some kind of um, arts or crafts, then... Sorry, things falling in my back. So if I'm not really good and at some types of arts or crafts, then I just kind of give up before trying, if that makes sense. And I always felt like painting. I was just not a painter. I was a sculptor. I could sculpt. And I never really practiced painting over the last 10 years, which is really silly. If you're watching this, just don't do it. Don't wait 10 years before practicing any type of skills really. And so I had in my mind that I didn't like to paint, but it was it was false. It's not that I didn't like to paint, it's just I was bad at painting and so I didn't like to be bad at it and so I didn't paint. I know it's really it's really stupid. <laughs> so um, last year 
in summer I was like no this time I'm so I was always um, just going to be a bit fussy this <laughs> video I feel okay so I always wanted to paint um, when I was traveling I like to work in colors and so usually um, just sketching is, is kind of boring to me and I don't know I'm, I'm not uh, liking uh, colored pencils enough to work with those at least not for now I might get into that later but for now it's just not something that I like the most and so every time I was going to go on holidays I was taking that watercolor paint from Van Gogh with me and just not doing anything about it because I just didn't know where to start and so last year I was like no this is silly I'm really going to try this year and um, so we went uh, so in 2017 we went hiking and traveling to my um, to my family and, and, and such things and I didn't do a lot of painting but when we were hiking at some point um, there's always a point when I'm traveling where I'm kind of fed up with holidays and then I just want to work and so I just decided to just do it you know just go and and try to paint because what what bad is going to happen if you make something ugly then it's it's ugly it's just a piece of paper and some pigments it's not the end of the world and so I started to paint and I think something clicked inside of me and I wanted to explore the medium more so I asked my mom for for some better quality uh, watercolor paint for last Christmas and I asked for the brand Schmincke because um, I've already used Schmincke it's a German brand um, in acrylics which I like a lot and I think part of me just likes German stuff because I was born in Germany and so it gives me some kind of psychological link to the country it's very silly, but it's just it's just like that. I, I like to have German stuff around me because usually I like the quality and, and just it reminds me of home in a way, um, even though I'm French, but that's another topic. <laughs> uh, so gosh, this is such a long story. I didn't really plan to go that long. But anyway, so I asked for my mom to get me a set of schmink. I didn't want too much. Um, because I wanted I wanted an incomplete set so I could buy my own colors um, I'm a bit picky that way and I don't really like to have like 50 colors uh, I like to make my own mixes so I, I asked a set of 12 colors half pants and I had a place for 10 more and then I I immediately bought magenta because obviously you can't do really much without magenta and yeah and just really gotten into painting then with the insects and the daily insect drawing painting and so long story short october comes or end of september and you there's this inktober thing that is going that has been going around for years and that i've heard about for years and i'm not really into ink to be honest but i'm really into ink and watercolors and so i thought why not? Why not try it? It could be fun to just kind of challenge yourself to make a daily painting or at least, you know, paint regularly. And so I started and I am so hooked. <laughs> so since then I have been painting or drawing every day, um, which is too much, I think, but it's also so very fun to me. I just, I, I really enjoy painting so much uh, and watercolor especially and so I've really gotten into watercolor paints and brands and looking uh, informing myself about penguins and stuff like that so I also bought some other paints recently some artisanal paint from Belgium which I'm I'm just in love with Still Anyway, I bought tubes <laughs> from from that specific Belgian brand, which is called um, Isaro, Isaro in English, I suppose. And yeah, it's it's a great brand. I love the vibrancy of it. Um, I've also learned that Schminke has not, it's not supposed to have such a vibrant colors, which to be honest, I don't really see in my own work, but I work in layers, so. <laughs> Oh, 
Watercolor. I love watercolor so much, um, so much actually that it it makes me a little bit nervous to be honest because I haven't really sculpted for the sake of art in weeks. I think last month I made a sculpture for just for art, or not for a client, <laughs> um, and all the rest is just client work and. I don't know, it's just, sculpting feels so troublesome right now, especially sculpting with polymer clay. I'm actually looking into other types of sculpting, but I probably will talk about this for another time. Okay, that's all I had to say. I also would like to thank my patrons for supporting me for so many months now, um, every month getting me a little bit of extra cash which makes the whole artist thing more livable so thank you so much you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye Stop.